folks, it's me, Antonius Prime, back here with another upgrade to view. It's repo label time for this little guy. It's Rumble from the Prime toy line. Rumble. Yeah, what a shame that his car mode wasn't something different that was a bit more concept and futuristic -y. Very bland car mode indeed, but I've got to say it makes all up makes it all up for the robot mode that we get out of this little guy. Sure, fat and stumpy that I'll call his little robot mode, but his car mode is really something you would pass by and possibly would be his downfall to um, becoming a shelf one because this really has no form of detail whatsoever. See, as bland as they come. Little bit of detail but really not focused on. And a shame really. Same with his pile drivers, considering that Rumble is known for his pile drivers. You really just get a, as you would expect with most things, just black weaponry. Considering these were shown in colour on the uh, actual box, but we do have the saving grace of repo labels, ladies and gentlemen. Repo labels. So happy when these were uh, brought out. So we have two sides or two parts of the repo labels. A lot really collaborating with both vehicle and robot mode. A lot of paneling on this one. And see here a lot of sort of chrome finishing, metallic look. Lights, wheels, windows. Really nice little multitude and really sort of getting all the main inches I think that is would really show the figure to show up. Now divert your attention here. Choose a character and colour. Now here we have Rumble in red at the top, Frenzy in blue at the bottom. Now I'm gonna go with uh, it is both. Yeah. It is I'm gonna go with the Rumble in blue because you know what? After all, he's a blue card as well. Blue labels, so really seems you know the right thing to do and plus I've always seen I always consider Rumble to be the blue version not the black and red version as in the comics so we are gonna transform this guy with these repo labels and I shall be back in just a jiffy I've been pointing some of these little babies out we've got for instance the Decepticon logo on his chest now I don't know if you can see if the camera picks this up all that particularly well but the colour tone between the plastic and the repo label are mildly different um, through the lens it looks completely like it these repo labels blend with the plastic perfect but there is a slight difference in the blue not much but enough if it's if you're holding up to your face but on a shelf you would know any difference so the repo label in robot mode you can see already the Decepticon logo along with these knock little homage to a uh, rumbles cassette sort of noobs as we've seen in g1 which i think it's a really nice touch not particularly not necessary but nevertheless i'm not complaining we move down to the likes of let's see we have his knees which have, uh, have that lovely sort of pastel yellow on i've got the repo labels just sort of like an energy on sort of knee sort of filtering through it we also have the thigh upper thighs now there's two choices with the thighs as you can see i've picked the ones with like the panel and dots but you also have the option of using just like a core a uh, strip of the energy on same pink that is on his shoulders you can also get get for his knees so i chose to have the two little dots because i think it just breaks the little pinkiness up great little uh thing I, I would say though as you can see on his legs we get this sort of again this cassette sort of G1 tribute but this is more pumping within the vehicle mode and you see all bits of the vehicle mode popping through as you can see on the doors all this side now here we we are used to have this huge yellow sort of pastel chunk that's been broken up with the like like the energy on effect from water cybertron and so this is the aesthetic look that i think they're going for in the middle we have this again getting covered up the yellow now they seem to be covering up the repo labels they seem to be going for covering up the the yellow the past the, the pastel yellow that we got on this figure i particularly like it and the reason is because on the shoulders i've left these two yellow bits open 
because I just feel like it separates all the blue away from it and it defines a bit more of the detail that we have for Rumble. And let me just show you it again. Two stickers I've left off, which is the A and 60. And these would fill in where the yellow pastel goes, but I think it's too much blue and it takes away. I, I really like the pastel yellow and I think it, it does break the entire thing of the detail up away from the character. So really it's more or less a frontal job, it's not really on the rear. Obviously you can see the rest of the repo labels that are uh, featured in his car mode. And we're going to get onto his car mode because his car mode is absolutely beautiful. But beforehand, the long awaited I think, which is a, a definite <laughs> wanting, is his pile drivers. Now already you can see, look at the blue upper tops, the warning strips, and these, these glide on there, there's no trouble getting these on, they fit beautifully with little mess, and let's put these on him, and see, just looks full of detail now, full of, again, completes the figure, really makes this figure look more like an upgrade, a definite upgraded version than what we might get previously. The blue through the lens, it really translate with, translates with the color of the actual plastic. And just lovely. Just really, really makes this look a more expensive figure to get. And rightfully so it should. We pay for it, so why not? So this is Rumble in his robot mode. So let's try, like, take a look at him in his car mode. Well, one way to describe his car mode is wow, this is a big transformation for Rumble. Bland no more, stylish, yes, tacky, just a while, but it works so well. Give you a little spin this guy because these, these labels and how it makes the car mode stand out is superb, complete and utter transformation. Again, like I said before about the robot mode, makes it well worth it. Key points as you can already see are the tyres. The tyres going for a sort of full Cybertron look. Now first these look a bit tacky to put on, you think, oh yeah, you know, red meets blue, sort of contradiction sometimes. No, these work so well and lift the body work, so that the colour the way from the body just totally separates it because you've got the, the knock-on effect with the glass. This just totally works and the way it reflects and if you can see the ball below, I think it just totally stands the whole car out completely. Absolutely gorgeous. And that's only that's only one little sticker. On the front, we have these chrome the chrome light effects with the chrome Decepticon emblem. Really nice. I love the way these have started to come out in the repo labels. I love the way they catch the light and again complements the whole body as well. On the front you can see that cassette, sort of G1 homage thing that Rumble and Air Friends used to have. These uh, these few, I'm not too sure whether they work or not. You may not be able to notice it on camera, but there's like, again a slightly different tone of blue up close and personal. And I don't think really necessary, you know, you can either leave these off and just expose the actual colour of the paint that is underneath. Uh, so hit or miss with it, but that's the beauty of repo labels. You can pick and choose how you go. A side ta um, transfer on top, nice just to break the, all the red down. As we move around, we'll get to the sides in the moment. We have these again, lovely metallic red uh, back headlight, uh, rear lights. As you can remember before, it was just plastic, 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 plastic. Again, glistening the lights, catching it makes it look absolutely fantastic. Now on the back here we also have a metallic red sort of blends in with all the windows round. Nice little fit, now these fit really really well and again shimmering off the light makes it look nice and just well worth it. License plates, I've chose the Rumble one as if you don't know his name already and the Decepticon emblem again. Really pointless one because the transfer is the same as the transfer underneath but I'm not complaining. It's stickers, we like it. On top, as you can see going from the top, we have uh, the Jing Chong Chow writing uh, that is Rumble in blue. I don't know what it says, so if anyone knows what this says, please just uh, leave me a message, that'd be great. We also have the, if you can see there, mm, 
yes. The uh, wind mirrors, that's a nice little chrome touch. You don't normally expect some of the small details to be uh, included, but he thinks of everything. <laughs> Now also you see where these big holes and where the pile drivers go on the side. These have been given the chrome work as well. Again, just love I love the detail that really comes out of repo labels. He does they do think of a lot of things that just so work on a figure. Now, one of the main sets, because it is a two-part, is all this panel work on the side. Now putting these on, again you can probably see the tone in blue. Again, I it is hit or miss whether you want to use these. I feel that the probably would just work without. So you just have this natural, the, the blue that paint that was on it with all the other minor details because again, it works so much. And these just lift it again a bit more, but I think an unnecessary sticker set. And you know, again, it's down to you. What do you think of it? Do you reckon it looks good without them or with them? Me personally, yeah, I, I don't know, again, they easily come off, I'll probably change your mind and point through. But all in all, what a fantastic set. Now let's just try them with the power drivers on. And again, again, these little uh, petrol cap things, they don't catch, they're a perfect circle, so you, they don't like cave in as you put these power drivers in. But look at them. Now he looks proper. A proper good car. He looks a bit like a DeLorean, it's, you know, Back to the Future or something like that. Now, there is a bit of an issue. There is no tra transformation wise, stickers are absolutely fine. No hints, no catching whatsoever. Now, it's the underneath you may have an issue with. I'll just take this off. And it is the underneath you may have an issue with because the low burden gets the low center of, gra like, center of gravity. There is a possibility that the knees transfers and possibly this one and the middle catch the actual floor but I'm not about to start going vroom, vroom, around the kitchen floor so you know if it's just for show happy days but so check out all the photos next the before and after and you'll see the contrast between the quality of it but oh there you go just let you know pile drivers have four little pink dots as well Mmm, tasty. So, I shall leave you. And this is Repo Labels for Prime Toy Line Rumble. Fantastic set. Wow, that's all I'm saying. If you like what I'm doing so far, please leave your comments and subscribe, and that'd be great. I'm Antonius Pam, and I'll see you soon for another upgrade review. Thank you for watching.